in this game because they can't attack often. And then the weaker monsters, for some reason, get to attack a shit ton. So they actually become the top tiers. Like, there's only a few exceptions, like, uh, Dark Magician's actually pretty good. Uh, Magician of Black Chaos, obviously, but you need an, you need an item for that. The Black Luster Soldier, but you need an item for that. Let's see... Strong. Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth, but you need an item for that, and, uh, the item and the monster are in two different, like, locations, campaigns. Where one of them you have to get in, you have to buy it in the Yugi side, and the other and when you get to the Kaiba side, you gotta find Larva Moth. So say if I did the Kaiba one first, I would have had that Moth, and it wouldn't have leveled. So if when I get to the Yugi one, as soon as I get them, it gets kind of stupid. And I think the Kaiba one's a little shorter. So okay, let's find this fucking Black Luster Soldier. Mm-hmm. No item, so okay. My teams get really cheap now that I think about it. I didn't give him power nature, fuck. Could have shown you a really good exploit in this game. <laughs> and I did buy a lot last last uh stage level, whatever how you want to call it. Basically what it does is, uh, for the cost of one star, it's an item, I believe I get three each, each equipped. And what it does is it gives all, all spirit monsters 500 more attack. But it's not just about the attack, but it gives them an extra action point. So, they get 500 attack plus I think one or two stars. So if I equip everybody with one, I can just endlessly use that and I will have stars even when the enemy is done with attacking. And these people get a lot of stars later on so... It gets kinda broken. And they all max out stats because of that, like mid-match. If I ever wanna kill something like... Really fast, I just blind them. Abuse the power of nature. I can use that power up ability as well if I, if I am out of power of nature with her. And... Everybody will have 99999... Like stats, it's pretty stupid, but whatever. I gotta, I gotta abuse what's in the game, anyways. And I think Dark Energy does the same thing, but I haven't tried it. So I'm gonna find out. If it does, I think I have a new build that I'm gonna use. Because dark energy, you get it pretty early. So, since I use a lot of dark monsters anyways, it would be pretty smart for me to start using it from now on, like if I ever do another run. What? Hmm. That's 1,200. No, fuck it. I'm gonna give him more strength. Gives me a lot of points, actually. I mean, look at that. That's okay, man. Still, thanks, man. Yo, that 500 damage from a weakling. That thing normally only hits 200. And then this thing is hitting like almost 700. <laughs> this team's so stupid. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this thing's mine. Uh, let's see what's in here. Yami, uh, I don't know what the fuck that does. 
Let's go to the tits. Uh, what do we have here? Magic camera shadow. Sp eh, nothing good. Fuck! Blocked him. Fight that fucking black. Nah. Whatever the hell he's called, I don't even know anymore. Send you there for now. Please find that fucking horse. Uh, right there donated. There we go! We must fight now. Oh yeah, he has Curse of Dragons. Oh, shit! <laughs> I didn't expect that. I hope I don't lose this now, now that I think about it. I should've probably sent the cheat team. Yo! The damage! That was two attacks! There's no way they're hitting this... this much... Oh shit, they got polymerization. Holy shit, they're level 99! <laughs> oh, <laughs> I fucked this up! They're level 99! <laughs> oh. If I lose this, I have to reset, okay? I'm sending a cheap team after, after these bastards. Okay, good. He missed. If I get one more hit after this, I should win. That is if I get the hit. Let me. Yes! Uh, <laughs> this could have gone worse. Much, much worse. I would have to deal with a level 99, uh. Whatever that thing's called, uh. Horseman on the dragon or something. Whatever the hell. Dragon so what the fuck's it called? Do you remember the name of that? When when guy gets on the dr when he gets on the dragon and like he rides it for some reason? Yo, he was guarding? I, I, I can't remember it! The guy of the sun... No, I don't think it was guy anymore. I think it was like... The, the dragon champion or something. I don't remember! <laughs> yeah, it was, it was I think the first fusion of the show. Like, original show. Well, actually, technically the second show. Because if you didn't know, there's actually another Yu-Gi-Oh! series. That came before. Which has a super violent ass, like, uh, whatever the, the spirit Yugi is called. Where he literally kills people. This was not licensed by four kids. Too violent. Yo! Those points! I don't think I can lose this. Yami! That was his name. Yeah, Yami in the original Yu Gi Oh! The first series? He was a psychotic killer, basically. Where, if they pissed off Yugi, or they did something bad to him, he would take over, tell him, we're gonna play a game. And if you lose, you're not, you're not just gonna lose the game, but you're gonna lose more than that. The first guy gets, like, thrown at a, a giant, like, snake thing. <laughs> it was freaking amazing, man, when I first found that show. <laughs> Uh, 
think of it as uh, Yami as the saw guy. He was literally like, we're gonna play a game. I, I remember in one of them, uh, he had like a pendulum, but it was like, it was not a regular pendulum because they were in a clock. He replaced it with like a giant blade, and he he told you, he told you, you have to reach into this thing and pull this out. Like, you, you have to reach in and stop the timer exactly, clo no, the closest to zero or something like that. He tells you, I'm gonna do it, you're gonna do it. Says you just gotta reach in and click. So you gotta just look at the seconds go down and keep an eye on the saw at, at the pendulum that's coming side by side. If you mistime it, your arm gets chopped off instead of you actually turning off the turning off the the stopwatch. So he tells the guy to do it first, and he does. He gets like 0. 0.7 seconds or something like that. So then afterwards, Yuki does it. And he gets like 0.5 or like 0.4. It's pretty cheap, man. He uses hacks. But the guy was just literally terrified, like when he put his hand in there. Huh? Ah, fuck! I missed. <laughs> well, that miss didn't hurt as much as the other ones, because I I got this in the bag. But yeah, that show's amazing, man. It's better than the uh, the first show. Well, the first show in America. That show was the first show in Japan, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! wise. And it just had him as a psychotic killer with, like... You know how his eyes are purple? Like, he just had him, like, wide open, like... Pure, like, perfectly rounded, staring at you with a giant smile every single time. And yeah, they played the card game once, I think? And it had bullshit rules, it was fucking amazing. <laughs> Let me check something. Okay, I'm setting three to each and I'm putting Yuki in the front to block this one. Let's see. What other things that he make him do? Fuck, I, I don't remember the other games, but every single episode had him play a game with somebody. It's really entertaining though. Like, I would watch it again. <laughs> it's only like 10, like 15 episodes or something like that, I forgot. So it's really short anyway, so it's not even painful at all. It's actually really entertaining. Ah, uh, say are you. Oh shit, don't die, don't die. Fuck, so close. What happened? Yo, I think I'm gonna lose this. Awkward is awkward. Okay. Okay, looks good now, I think. <laughs> 